The name Matthew is derived from the Hebrew Matija, being shortened to Matai in post-biblical Hebrew. In Greek it is sometimes spelled Mathtaios. The name means gift of Yahweh, or gift of God. Matthew is spoken of five times in the New Testament, first in Matthew chapter 9, when called by Jesus to follow him, and then four times in the list of the apostles. Matthew is the same as Levi, recorded in Mark 2.14, and Luke 5.27, as sitting at the receipt of custom. The account in the three synoptics is identical, the vocation of Matthew Levi as being a tax collector. Levi was the original name of the man who was later called Matthew. Matthew, the son of Alphaeus, was a Galilean, or Syrian. As tax gatherer at Capharnaum, he collected custom duties for Herod Antipas, and, although a Jew, was despised by the Pharisees, who hated all publicans. When summoned by Jesus, Matthew arose and followed him and gave Jesus a feast in his house, where tax gatherers and sinners sat at table with Christ and his disciples. This drew forth a protest from the Pharisees whom Jesus rebuked in these consoling words, I came not to call the just, but sinners. He was one of the witnesses of his resurrection. He was also amongst the apostles who were present at the ascension, and afterwards withdrew to an upper chamber, in Jerusalem, praying in union with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Saint Irenaeus tells us that Matthew preached the gospel among the Hebrews. According to tradition, the saint was killed, by the sword, on the orders of the king of Ethiopia while celebrating mass at the altar. The king lusted after his own niece, and had been rebuked by Matthew, for the girl was a nun, and therefore the bride of Christ. The Latin Church celebrates the feast of Saint Matthew on the 21st of September, and the Greek Church on the 16th of November. Saint Matthew is represented under the symbol of a winged man, carrying in his hand a lance as a characteristic symbol. Tradition attributes the writing of the Gospel of Matthew to Saint Matthew. So, he is considered both an apostle of Jesus and an evangelist. The Gospel of Matthew was originally written in Hebrew or Aramaic and then translated to Greek. His tomb is located in the crypt of Salerno Cathedral in southern Italy. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.